This video will jump into everything you need to know about moving to the Philippines. This includes essential tasks that must be completed months, weeks or even days before you travel. As time is always against us, let's dive in. Start saving to move to the Philippines. As soon as you have decided to move to the Philippines, it is recommended that you start saving for your move. As we have spoken about previously, the Philippines is not an expensive country, however, over the upcoming weeks and months, there will be financial requirements such as flights, transportations, visas and so on and naturally these will all cost. Therefore, to get you started in the right direction, it is best to start the process of saving as soon as you are aware that you are going to move to the Philippines full time. Research your location and build your plan of action. For example, which airport will you be flying to? Will you be living in a condo? Will you be living in a hotel? Or will you stay in the same location or move after a few weeks. If you are not sure of your travel plans just yet, then please don't worry, but a basic idea and research is always very helpful. Create your Philippines product checklist. So what exactly is a product list? This is a list of essential items that you may wish to take with you to the Philippines. These can include battery packs, earplugs, money belts, spare bank cards, sun case locks, sunscreen, schedule a pre-travel doctor's appointment. As we know, health is vital wherever we live. Therefore, whether you have any health conditions or not, it is recommended to book an appointment with your doctor before you move to the Philippines. Inform your bank you're planning to live in the Philippines. Over the years, I've encountered many expats who have had difficulties withdrawing money simply because they forgot to tell their bank that they are moving to the Philippines. Unfortunately, scams and financial frauds are very common in the Philippines, so if your bank starts seeing that you're making payments in the Philippines, it can sometimes raise those red flags with your bank. Find a payment system to use in the Philippines. Using an American, Canadian, Australian or UK bank account in the Philippines is entirely possible. However, with the added fees and conversion rates, it's not always the best financial decision to keep using your foreign bank cards with ATMs in the Philippines. However, two financial options are much more suitable when moving to the Philippines. The first option is to use an online borderless bank account by WISE. The second is to obtain a local Local bank account. For security, cost and convenience, it's often recommended to obtain a local bank account in the Philippines but also open up a WISE account. But the choice is entirely up to you. WISE, previously known as TransferWISE, can be extremely useful wherever you are in the world. And their conversion rates are the best, so it's really useful if you're transferring USD, Great British Pounds, Canadian Dollars or Australian Dollars into Philippines no pesos. I've added the link in the description below for more information. Start selling items that you no longer need or no longer use. There are many things that we accumulate over the years, but do you need to take these to the Philippines? This is also a great way to raise some extra capital to move to the Philippines. However, if you already have the money for your flights and accommodation etc, then you can use this extra money to help you build an emergency fund. Obtain the relevant injections. When traveling to the Philippines, whether temporary or permanently, it is recommended to obtain the relevant health injections. Not all injections are 100% essential to enter the Philippines, but one that is essential as we know is the COVID-19 injection. At this moment in time, if you are traveling to the Philippines, you will need to bring proof of your COVID-19 injection. So this can be your COVID-19 passport or just proof of some kind that you have have had all your vaccinations and you are fully vaccinated. Fit for Travel, Passport Health USA and the Center for Disease Control and Prevention are all recognized authorities that recommend travelers to obtain the following injections before traveling. There are also additional vaccinations proposed by certain health authorities for certain types of people. For instance, people who have certain health conditions or people who are staying for a long time in the Philippines or even 
certain people who are going to more remote areas of the Philippines. Obtain passport renewal. Many banks, visa entry points and travel operators require travelers to have at least six months left on their passport. So renewing your passport before you fly is always a good idea. Obtain healthcare coverage and your medication if applicable. After your initial doctor's appointment, you may wish to consider obtaining health insurance or health coverage and medication ready for your move to the Philippines. Now it's up to you whether you choose a local health insurance or if you buy international health insurance or even if you don't choose any insurance whatsoever, the choice is entirely up to you. But on this note, I recently explored the process of healthcare insurance and healthcare options in the Philippines. To cut a long story short, international health insurance providers offer more features but will nearly double the price of local insurances in the Philippines. Review your tax insurance or retirement plans. Naturally, the process of tax insurance and retirement plans will differ from individual to individual. For example, if you are still registered in the US, you may be subject to capital gains tax if you earn money in the Philippines. But as mentioned, this differs from individual to individual. Contact an international moving company if applicable. In my experience, most foreigners who move to the Philippines can fit everything they need in a suitcase or purchase the rest locally in the Philippines. And this is the most convenient option in the long run, but if you want to take your items with you, it's best to contact a moving company at least a few months before you move. Book your flight to the Philippines. Have you ever wondered how to find cheap flights to the Philippines? Interestingly, there are many ways and I explored these options in this video. But anyways, this step is just simply to book the flight ready for your move to the Philippines. Make copies of important documentation. One question that is often asked is what kind of documentation will I need to take to the Philippines? Important documentation to take to the Philippines includes copies of passport pages, driving license, birth certificate, medical paperwork and proof of financial income. But this will depend on your situation and the reason for you going to the Philippines. Most retirees, travelers and general expats won't need to worry about this so much. It's only usually for those who are going to start a business or going to become a citizen etc etc. Contact a real estate agent, book an Airbnb or book a hotel. You can contact a local real estate agent by heading over to the local Facebook groups. For example, typing in Manila Rent Philippines or Cebu Condo will bring up a host of different options, loads of different groups, and you will find plenty of properties and real estate agents in those groups. What I tend to do is to find an accommodation on Airbnb, for example, or even a hotel site and just find somewhere where I can stay for a couple of weeks and that will give me enough time to find my long-term accommodation. Two weeks is often a suitable time frame to book an Airbnb, however you may wish to stay in a hotel or Airbnb for up to four weeks if you're looking to take your time or perhaps looking for a rare type of accommodation. Cancel any last subscriptions and services. When moving to the Philippines, a common forgotten step is cancelling those old subscriptions and services that you no longer need. Monthly subscriptions are often fresh in our mind, but yearly subscriptions can fly under our radar. Obtaining pesos. So before you fly, it is essential to take some pesos with you. I normally take around 200 to 300 dollars worth of pesos uh, for the first few days, and this is for emergencies, taxi fares, and foods. Fear not if you do not have any pesos with you, as you will find plenty of ATMs that accept all types of bank cards. Additionally, there are several currency conversion kiosks at the airport that will exchange your dollar for pesos. However, in my experience with Iloilo, Manila and Cebu Airport, the currency conversion is not the best. 
pick up the essentials when you arrive. In this step, we focus only on the essentials. This includes purchasing a local SIM card, face masks, top up of funds, etc. In the first day or two of arriving in the Philippines, there's always so much to do, so it's always best just to focus on the essentials first. Get settled in the Philippines. So this includes finding local restaurants, gyms, hospitals, etc. But also involves the more important processes such as obtaining a health insurance coverage, a bank account, renting or buying your home, all of which we've covered previously. So here is some extra information about moving to the Philippines. The Philippines Government Resolution 168 explains all the entry rules to the Philippines and I've added a link in the description below. If you are fully vaccinated, you must carry proof of your vaccination, a return journey, register for the One Health Pass, and have a negative COVID test. However, I found that the travel requirements guides for the US, the UK, Australia, Canada, and European countries are all slightly different. So I would recommend following the guidance set by your local government page, just to be sure. I very much wish you the best of times moving to the Philippines. Let me know if I can help you further and I will do some research and uh, let you know what I found.